Our basement has come a long way from the days when there was a coal chute down here. The original heating system were steam radiators run off of that coal and then converted at some point to oil, again to gas, and that system was so inefficient that they had to add some heat pumps for a couple rooms that were too drafty. Well now, all of that has been replaced by a modern ducted heat pump system. And uh, Chris, you guys installed the forest, thank you for that. Yeah. You've also gave us a fresh air option, right? Sure. This is an HRV, which is a heat recovery ventilator, not to be confused with an ERV, which is an energy recovery ventilator. All right, I'm already confused. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the difference between ERV and HRV? So we're trying to bring in fresh air from the outside into the house, and we have to treat it for both humidity and temperature. Right. So HRV will take care of temperature only. ERV will do humidity and temperature. And, and so in this house, why only the the temperature we worried about. Yeah, great question. In our climate, in this house design, with the small amount of ventilation we need, HRV is just a more budget-friendly solution, and it does the job of introducing the fresh air. Okay. Basic idea, though, is the same for both, if not just that little difference with humidity. Walk me through it, how these work. So this is a, this is a core where the air passes through, right. and you can see it's a metal core. So I've seen these before. Um, our guy Richard has shown me a bunch, and I've always seen them with sort of a soft fabric, not the fins. Yep. Is that the difference? That is the difference. So the fabric will basically transfer humidity, moisture. This does not. Ah, okay. So only the temperature is actually going through those cores right there. Yep. I'll get this back in right here, and we can follow that airflow path. Yep. You're pulling in fresh air from outside? Exactly, right here. We pull in the air from the outside. It's coming in through here and going this way. And it's going through this duct and being introduced into our heat pump air handler. Gotcha. And then when it goes out? It goes out from the heat pump air handler. It comes back through here and goes down this way. So the two air streams cross paths and then it's exhausted out of the house. Right. And, and what I have learned from Richard is cross but don't touch. So they're actually not mixing here. Correct. This is just where the heat from the, the two different air temperatures swaps from one to the other. Absolutely. Gotcha. And the cost of something like this to add it, the system to a house like this? Sure. The whole system with the ductwork installed is about $2,500. Oh, so that's not too bad, especially if you're talking about indoor air quality. Oh, yeah. Which is important, right? I mean, we know, I just looked at the insulation package here. We, we saw that the house was wrapped in a membrane, and then we packed the stud base full of insulation. We tried to tighten this up as much as we could. That limits natural air infiltration. Yeah, absolutely. You've got a tight house. You've got all kinds of stuff happening inside, from showers to cooking to chemicals from cleaning, you want to exchange that air, you want to introduce outside air in, you want to get that stale air out. It's for the health of the house and the occupants of the house. Pretty pretty common these days that folks oh, are Oh, yeah, it this. should be a necessity pretty much any time you build a tight house. Good. All right. Well, we're glad you're on the job and I appreciate Great. the explanation. Thank Thanks, you. Chris. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.